All right, let's start chapter 17. Uh, uh, so chapter 17 deals with ecosystems and communities. So let's look at a community. Now, the first thing that we're gonna talk about here is a niche. Uh, and a niche is the role an organism plays in the environment. So these are some niche features, some space where uh, the organism requires, the type and amount of food that organism utilizes, the timing of an organism's reproduction, organism's temperature and moisture requirements. So as you can see here, there's a lot of things that go in the niche. The niche is everything that encompasses that organism and what it does in the environment, all right? So one of the things is habitat, and that's, where, uh, that's the place where an organism lives. Now, organisms are not without competition. And uh, competition is an interaction between two organisms for the same resource. And typically when we talk about competition, this has a negative effect on both organisms. So uh, the first is interspecific competition. So inter means between, uh, and specific is referring to species, between species. So there's an interaction between different species for a resource that is in limited supply. And why we say it's in limited supply, because if it wasn't in limited, limited supply, there wouldn't be competition for it, all right? So, you know, uh, this is like hyenas and lions going after zebra, right? They're both going for that resource. Now, uh, this still has a negative effect, even if it's like a jackal, which is kind of a small uh, canine. Uh, that canine comes around, a uh, jackal comes around uh, while a lion is eating. The lion is much bigger and can easily kill that jackal, but it's taking attention away from eating to, taking, uh, to paying attention to the jackal and chasing it away. It still has a negative effect on the lion because now that lion is expending energy in an area it wouldn't if the jackal wasn't around. Next is intraspecific competition. So intra means within, so within species. So there's an interaction of individuals of the same species for a limited resource. Uh, and so this is why we see a lot of predators are uh, territorial uh, because they're trying to keep other predator species away, uh, uh, even within their own species, right? So this would be like two lion prides uh, interacting with each other. Uh, so trying to fight to get the territory or keep the other lion pride out of their territory. So let's take a look at types of niches. So uh, one is a fundamental niche. Now this is an entire niche an organism is theoretically capable of using, all right? Uh, and next is a realized niche. And this is the actual niche an organism is capable of using in the presence of competitors. So several years ago, they did these uh, little experiments. Uh, I think this is in Massachusetts or Maine, one of those places there uh, in the Atlantic, uh, North Atlantic areas in the United States, where there's two types of barnacles that grow. And in some areas, uh, they remove the larger barnacles, and in other areas, they remove the smaller barnacles, all right? So when these two barnacles are found together, uh, the larger barnacles are down further in the water column, uh, the larger, bar the smaller barnacles are found higher. So when they remove the smaller barnacles, the larger barnacles didn't move up into that area, all right? Uh, but when they remove the larger barnacles, the smaller barnacles move down into that area. So for the larger barnacles, their realized niche and their fundamental niche were the same thing. Uh, but the smaller barnacles, their fundamental niche was a much larger area, but because of competition, its realized niche uh, was uh, reduced from that fundamental. Next is the principle of competitive exclusion. And this states that no two species that occupy the same niche can coexist. So what's gonna happen there is when two species have the same niche, either one be, uh, of those species becomes extinct or the niches change, all right? So they did these experiments, oh, back in the, like the 50s and 60s where they grew paramecia in, uh, in test tubes. And what they found is in the absence of um, any competitors, they would both take up the whole test tube, all right? So in competitive exclusion, what we're saying is one species outcompetes the other, all right? And so that's what we saw with uh, Paramecium aurelia and Paramecium caudatum. Aurelia, even though it's a smaller Paramecium, outcompeted caudatum for the resources and eventually took over that entire uh, test tube, all right? So uh, this is showing uh, resource partitioning. So these are where species live in the same habitat but may coexist by subdividing the available resources among them. 
So they literally are gonna subdivide the niche, all right? And so this is what happens with Paramecium uh, aurelia and Bursaria, is that in the absence of competitors, they'll take up the whole entire uh, test tube. But when these two guys are put together, what they see is Aurelia will take the, part, the top part of the test tube, Bursaria will take the bottom part of the test tube. So, and this is just showing here, and just, I want you to note like um, the uh, total population size is that Aurelia with no competitors uh, levels off here, you know, with a competitor, it's lower than it was without one. Uh, and the same with both of these guys uh, are lower than what they were by themselves. Okay, so this is looking at resource partitioning. Uh, so these are warblers, which are little songbirds. Uh, so they, uh, you know, uh, live in different areas of a pine tree, hunt, uh, hunting in that different areas. And this is showing another example of that. Uh, in the state of Illinois, we have seven different woodpeckers, and you would think woodpeckers would be, uh, you know, going after the same resource, which in most cases is insects that live in trees. Uh, but we have the downy woodpecker, the hairy woodpecker, the yellow-bellied sapsucker, um, red-headed woodpeckers, red-bellied woodpeckers, uh, northern flicker, and the pileated woodpecker. Um, so uh, those are all different sizes, and I listed them in the order in which they get larger. All right, and they all live in different areas of trees or on different trees. So 